Paramedics and EMTs are vital to our community. They even answered the call when my own father got sick. So I can't help but say thank you. If you call, they answer. <laughs> high school my little brother he was six and he got hit by a car um, and I just thought the people that responded were amazing it was so cool to see the paramedics and EMTs and how good they were with my family and um, how much they cared about their patients and ever since then that's this is what I wanted to do. Paramedic Grace Hicks is giving back to her community for what first responders gave her family. For field paramedic Eric Nelson it's been a sense of duty since 2006. Somebody's got to do it and uh, you know they entrust me with the job so I'll do the best I can. For National EMS Week, the humility these first responders show doesn't go unnoticed. In my opinion, we just have a phenomenal crew because it's just it's one opportunity to recognize these field providers, um, say thank you. Great Falls Emergency Services is contracted through the city and also takes care of the entire county. And the thanks goes beyond their station to the volunteer responders in surrounding communities. But we're paid to be here and the volunteers are not. They're out there leaving their jobs in the middle of the day. They're up there getting up in the middle of the night to go help out their, their neighbors and all that. They're the ones who deserve the kudos, not so much us. A team effort from dispatch workers, other agencies, and veterans molding the next generation. It's just like being a sponge. You kind of just take in what you can get in a day. Soaking up the desire to be a caregiver. I like to say in EMS, one of the best treatments we can do is simply compassion. Um, a lot of times the main thing someone needs is uh, someone who obviously cares about them, is there to take care of them, help solve the problem, and take care of what's going on. And that's exactly what they do. In Great Falls, Ryan Gamboa, MTN News.